back with another video, man. I know ain't nothing changed between here and there. You got a little better. You got a little better. You gathered a couple of little thoughts or something. That's what's up, man. I'm going to send you some more blessings, though. Blessings, guidance, and protection. Integrity, strength, focus, and understanding. Each individual out there. No exceptions. Never no exceptions. So, you got God inside of you. That soul that you have is a piece of the creator. Is a piece of creation. Is a piece of every moving part you could imagine. And so many beyond your imagination. I'm talking about that's inside of you. And yeah, you got access to it all. You just got to figure it out. But it's easy. So, it's kind of I know how the mind thinks, so spirits say you, I can, it's kind of iffy for you to think that you plan this experience that you're having. It's kind of iffy for you to think that you could remember who you was in a past life, how you could, how you can even come up with an understanding of how everything was created. It's a little iffy for you to think that that you got a million angels around you right now, energies around you right now, angles around you right now, light beings around you right now, angelic presence around you right now. And that's understandable. Because that in which you are part of, meaning this reality, it presents that to you. It presents a vision of nothing but individuality. If you'd have knew what you knew now, you wouldn't have been thinking the way you've been thinking, you know, all alone. Process. Process is for you to dig into yourself and pull your true identity out that was buried under all of those things that you put there, you allowed to be put there through your thinking through your awareness but see your true identity the shit that's covered it ain't got nothing on it it just seem hard because you ain't figured out your true identity yet you on your way you understand that you understanding that you a supreme being you just can't get around to feeling supreme Prophet understand how you feel. You couldn't imagine who you are before you come here. I'm gonna repeat that. You couldn't imagine who you are before you come here. See, you so big 
You're so mighty. You're so supreme. You so you cover the board so much. That's why you just have a peace inside of you. I want you to listen to this because I promise this is one of the most important things anybody can hear if they have faith and belief in the Creator. So, before you come here, while you're here, having this experience with every individual you done ran across, every individual you see, everybody with two feet on this planet, Every individual on this planet with two feet, you down low, you have a as above. I'm gonna repeat myself. Every individual on this planet that has two feet, me, you, them, 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 them. I say two feet, any individual on this planet, I'm sorry about that. You down low, you have a as above. Explain it a little more, prop. See how me and you talking? As above, me and you talking too. We talking just like this. We playing this out as above. That's how it gets to play out right now. Because we created it. All right? And that's with everything and anybody that you talk to. It could be in the grocery store. You're just going to buy some sugar. It doesn't matter. You and that individual who checking you out, they all might just say hi. You might not speak. You and that individual is down low. Y'all have an as above. In synchronicity. Real time. You got that? All right. So they say it got to happen in the spiritual realm first. That's how you hear things. That's the that's how you hear people explain things, you know, when they talking about reality. And they're not wrong. They're not wrong at all. It's just not like individuals picture it to be. It's not like individuals think it is, but I really can't say that. Spirit telling me not to phrase it like that because we pick energies up different. But it's gonna break down to the spiritual realm first. So let me ask you something. Just, just, let's just take God and move him right here for us. Now, we we'll just put him, we'll sit him on my lap. Listen. Now, God right here. Why would you have to manifest something into this reality? Like, why would you have to manifest something into this reality? That's the best way to phrase the spirit say because that's what lets every individual know you sending salt you sending something off somewhere you sending your thought off somewhere you mailing your thought your intentions but every individual understands that you ain't bringing it right here you shipping it who you think get the mail who you think gonna answer the mail? If you ship it, you receive it. If you ship it, you receive it. So
See your ass above? That ain't shit, man. That ain't nothing. But, when these situations start getting created for you, you act a ass down here. When the situations get created for you, down here, you don't go about it the right way. Sure, you want what you want, but you're not, you're not, you're just thinking you involved, you and God. You're not acknowledging everybody else in your reality, in your reality. Including the dude by the stove that you say, man, fuck you, bitch, all that. Every, every single piece of your reality. See, I'm going to tell you something that I've mentioned before in, in a message. But I'm going to repeat it. You, your higher self, is a real thing. Your higher self is not a higher version of you on this earth. I'm going to repeat that, Spirit say. Your higher self is not a higher version of you on this earth that's inside of you it is you but it's not inside of you I know we work we, we say things a certain way according to what we know at the time how we know at the time but we steady progressing Never forget that. Never forget that everything changes. So, your spirit guides, your soul group, your higher self, God, Source, Creator, Spirit, the Most High. That pineal gland, that portal. That piece of soul in your vessel. That's all you. It's all you. You and any other individual that can hear me right now. That's all you. See, the only way you can ever, and, and the reason that I ask for the answers for this message is because I know this, no matter how much help we say we have, they say we have out there, which it's, it's beyond, man. It's beyond what we could fathom. But I just always wondered, like, ain't nobody controlling my body. Like, it's me that think to look this way. It's me that think this. It's me that's taking these thoughts, like, once I understood that you get the negative thought, but you buy it if you want to. You ain't got to buy it. You just ain't got to buy it. It just took my mind somewhere. So I want to understand how I got this connection like this. We all God. You a God, I'm a God. That's it. You got one creator that is, man, look, I say control of the energy, man. 
that's the best way for, for prophet to phrase it see you said you was gonna come and you was gonna get your mind right see get your mind right mind right mind right this is the real meaning of it. Your higher self getting your mind right in this 3D reality. Everything is all you. See these energies? Source. Source got them flowing like they flow. This shit is supreme. This shit is on time. This shit is not wrong. This shit protect you when you're holding love. This shit respect you when you're walking tall. These energies will keep your ass in a ringer if you feel like ringing. High yourself. Your high self and your soul, high self and your soul, high self and your soul, high self and your soul. Let me ask you something, because I've said this last week. But listen to me now, though, while I'm saying this. If you thought your higher self was inside of you, your pineal gland is definitely inside of you. And your soul is definitely inside of you. Where you going? Where you going? Like you going through the pineal gland to your soul. You still in your body. That's right, huh? Okay. Where you go from there? How you was going on? Because for you just make that little move, your soul in your body. I'm just asking, I want to see how you're thinking. Kind of like, huh? Which means, it ain't until you, you, you decide to activate and take on a responsible role for your soul that you begin to change. You're not changing until then. Whether you get tired in your chain, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you have to do it. I ain't saying, let me see your soul. Mm, 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 tighten something and push a button. I'm not doing that. I am in a sense, but you gotta do it. How long you been hearing God is there for you, but you have to open the door. God is there, but you have to open the door. If you open the door, you open the floodgates. Like how, how many, how long you been hearing that? Forever, bro. That's the way of it. And that's exactly right. That's the way of it. It's just individuals don't open the door. See you giving permission. In a sense. is you're putting your ego in time out. You're putting them in time out. You're saying like, I don't want to live on my own. I want y'all to help me. You're opening that real portal within yourself, within yourself, because you're connected to the all. You're opening that real portal within yourself. For your soul to uh, jump in the driver's seat. Take the wheel. Now, where God come in at, prophet? He in the driver's seat. He in the driver's seat now. That's right, huh? Okay. You in the driver's seat, huh? Yeah. You God, huh? Yeah, 
Okay, we ain't confused or nothing. We not confused at all about none of it. All right, now, how I go then, prophet? Like how I put it in drive, how I hit the gas, how I have the energy. There you go. There you go. Source got the energy. Source got the energy. You got the God suit. You got the God suit. Understand what prophet telling you. Understand that whenever you go back to that individual and say, hey, bro, <laughs> the way we was, the way I went about that, bro, I, like my bad, I was thinking about it. That shit ain't cool, my boy. I just wanted to apologize to you, man. When you go do that, you get it. You heard what your higher self told you. You heard it loud and clear and you handled your business on this earth. You understand? Now this is the confusion though. When you get the thought to go make it right, you're talking to your ego. You're talking to you, you're talking to your ego. Ego don't be wanting to hear that shit most of the time. It depends on the place and the space that the individual is in at the time. But everybody has that same opportunity. A lot of times, individuals, man, fuck all that, nigga, ain't fuck, man, fuck that. It's just what it is, man, and y'all know it. Very seldom do you really take that on and be mature. That's mature. That's mature. That's understanding. That's when you can hear God. All that right there. Go make it right. Whenever you're in a situation like that and you go home by yourself, just you and the individual fell out, you go home, you by yourself. You don't say nothing to nobody. Who know you done it? You know and he know, right? Yeah. Everything is energies though, right? Yeah. So for you and that individual to get back together and make it right, who did that? You and that individual made it right, right? That's because y'all as above created the situation and y'all listen down here, you listen. So if you wanna think of yourself as the big dog up there, as the big God, with your puppet strings on yourself down here, you can, if it would help you be better. I think it will. But whenever you have the thought to be respectful, have integrity, say you're sorry, do the right thing, it is you, your higher self, telling you how to go about yourself on this earth. And we can say 10 out of 10 is, is always right. It's, it's never telling us the wrong thing. It's, it's, it's better and it's all the time is be, beneficial. We just don't listen to it. And that's always been the case your whole life. You just never had the understanding of it because society broke you down to just yourself and God was somewhere else in a mystery place somewhere. But you had stopped trying to get there because you know shit, I done fucked up at least one time it's just the reality of things. I'm just breaking it down for you. So, thank you, Spirit. So I'm about to cut this video off because I gotta, I gotta finish this. If you got time, I want you to think about what I just said. If you gotta replay it, replay it. But I want you to think about it, and I, I, I need you to understand. I need you to understand. That when you, you know how people say, man, you bigger than that. I'm bigger than that. You understand? That's because you are. You bigger than this. You bigger than this all the time. I get it. All the time. I don't give a fuck how big you get. You still bigger than this. I know that. But the saying is, you bigger than this. 
you have the direction to be bigger than anything down here because you understand that you're bigger than this but you gotta listen and operate like you're bigger than this though it is you whoever i'm talking to you could go look in the mirror it's that person not that person but the soul in it you guiding yourself you guiding yourself on this earth every individual that's on this planet has a as above it don't matter how you think they how you view them as ignorant they could be the demon the devil how, however you think there's none of that over, up there though there's none of that there every individual has a higher self that's how anything can get worked out down here that's how it get worked out just think about if you didn't have a higher self then you just stuck in your ego down here you can't hear shit. You can't listen to nothing. You ain't changing a damn thing. But be thankful, man. And prophet say, be grateful that you got through all of those old energies. Yeah, that was a real fight with your mind. Might not have been physical, but it was damn sure a fight with your mind, with your mental. Because that's what you come to, a reality of mental poverty. Mental poverty. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from. Watch your surroundings. Watch what you take in your ears. Watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement, man. You, yourself, you, yourself, and I, got it bro y'all got it i got faith in you till next time man sky prophet baby love everybody peace out